Welcome back. Looking for some quick, tasty, and creative recipes for back-to-school lunches or family dinners? Well, you won't have to look much further than Family Fair. Yep, and if you're a busy parent, these could be just what you're looking for. Take a look. Well, it's that time of year again, back to school. And whether that's at home or at the school or a hybrid of both, the kids have to eat no matter what. And so Family Fair is getting ready to help you, the busy parent making those breakfasts, those lunch, and the all-important snacks. And for some great recipes, we go to Jesse and Brooke. Hi, everyone. Brooke and Jesse here with Family Fair. We're here to take some of that stress out of going back to school. We know that with a little bit of prep and creativity, we can help you with a breakfast, lunch, and snack solution. All of the recipes that we're gonna show you today, you can find on shopfamilyfair.com. So go ahead and get those whenever you feel later on. So we'll jump right in with the yogurt bark. That's our first breakfast option. It's a little bit more of a sweet solution. So what I have here is Dannon's um, vanilla Greek yogurt. I like the light and fit version. You're gonna mix in about two cups of fresh chopped fruit. We'll take about one tablespoon of vanilla and dab it in, just eyeballing here. Once it's all blended, you will pour it out onto a lined baking sheet just like this, and you plop in any fruits that you want, or you can do other toppings. Um, let your family get creative. After you've poured it on and put down all of your fruits, you're gonna put it in the freezer for about two hours, and then it will come out like this. So then you simply take pieces and break it up. So I know my family loves this one. Jesse, let's jump into the other breakfast solution. So the next one is gonna be breakfast burritos, a super easy solution that we can just prep throw in the freezer and then pull out for the morning for however many you need. So the first step is to get your tortilla laid out. Next, you'll wanna add your eggs. Now, I've pre-scrambled these for time's sake. So we'll throw a scoop in there. Our protein for our breakfast burritos today is gonna to be your ground sausage. Again, prepped these for time's sake. We will add that, mm, looks so good. Don't forget the cheese that makes it um, perfect for your kids. Now I'll stop here and wrap this one, but if you were making it for maybe adults or your less picky eaters, you could easily throw in some peppers or scallions. Add it to either a baggie or a tray like this with the seam down. After you've filled that up, throw them in the freezer. After a day or two, like I said, they'll be ready to go when you need them. Next, we're gonna show you how to make no bake energy bites. So it includes just a few ingredients, um, one cup of Quaker oats, one cup of peanut butter, about a tablespoon of honey, and then one third of a cup of flaxseed. And then I add in mini chocolate chips, morsels, just for the extra little bit of sweetness. All you do is make a circle ball of them, it makes about mm, maybe 12, um, depending on the size that you like to form them into. And then you pop them in the freezer for about an hour. Then you can take them out and have your family eat them when they're low on energy. Next is going to be our pinwheels and veggie kebabs. Let's start with the pinwheels. Now, if you got this in the same grocery run as your breakfast burritos, you can just use your shells again. So for starters, we'll put down our condiments. You can do whichever condiments that your kids or family enjoy. I'll start with just um, some mayonnaise. Next, mustard. I'm gonna use the Lando Frost Honey Turkey Lunch Meat. You can do it as thick as you want or as thin as you want, depending on your eaters in your house. Top it with cheese slices. And it's really as simple as just rolling this up. Final steps are gonna be to cut it. I'm gonna add a toothpick. Depending on what else I, I pack in the lunchbox, I might put three or four of these. So after that, we're gonna move right onto our veggie kebabs. We've got cucumbers, bell peppers, tomatoes, and celery. This is so easy, guys. Essentially, you're just gonna skewer whatever vegetables your kids like. You could do all green, you could do a rainbow. I even love to throw in some baby bells. The other thing that I do with this is just a little tub of ranch so the kids have something to dip it in. 
For a personal touch, I like to throw a note in there. This school year might be a little bit different and scary for them, so it's a perfect time to throw a little note in there as well. And then the last thing is don't forget your beverages. So there's a few ones that I like today. Creative Roots is actually gonna be a coconut water based beverage with low sugar, perfect for the kids at school. Definitely hydrating as well. Throw that all together in your lunchbox and they've got a really cute, wonderful personalized lunch just for them. We hope that we're able to serve you some tips and tricks to help bring down the stress level of going back to school and bring back some excitement about this new routine. Um, we also want to give a shout out to our teachers. We've got great things to offer at Family Fair like our floral arrangements or succulents. Those are great options um, to show some extra appreciation this year. Now, now I want breakfast again. Remember to check out those recipes and you want more, just head to shopfamilyfair.com.